Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing another trench conditions mud test. And today I'm joined by my buddy Talon, who brought his Gucci uh, Bulgarian made AK-74, so the SLR-104. And we're gonna be comparing it with the Daniel Defense Block 2. So this is a continuation of these mud tests I've been doing. The first test I did was comparing a PSA AK-74 with a Adams Arms P3, which is a piston driven gun and the piston gun beat the AK in pretty much every single test and a lot of people were saying the reason why the AK was failing was because it was a PSA gun where I argued it was just due to the AK system which allows a little bit more stuff into the system it's not as much of a closed off system like any type of AR is so we're going to be putting that to the test by bringing out this nicer AK that you see here and seeing if the AR still beats out a nicer AK. If you also remember the last mud test I did was comparing that same Adams Arms P3, which is a piston gun again, versus this gun. This is a Daniel Defense Block 2, which is a DI AR. And I know that DI, uh, it's not technically a direct impingement gun because the piston is on the bolt carrier, but it's just the generally accepted term for these types of guns that have a gas tube. And the piston gun beat this rifle in the test, mostly due to the mud. I think it was kind of a fluke. I think that uh, DI guns are perfectly reliable, especially in those types of conditions, because majority of that reliability comes from the AR, which is just, again, a more closed off system. I think it was mostly due to luck, uh, just maybe due to more mud being on the bolt carrier on this gun versus the P3. So we're gonna be testing that again, as sort of as a uh, redemption arc for the Block 2. All right, so Connor, uh, do you wanna kind of go into your history with this rifle that you see here? Yeah, so um, again, this is the Arsenal SLR 104, um, technically AK-74. Um, well, I mean, the technicality is the SLR 104 from yeah. Arsenal, but it's an AK-74, um, shoots 545 by 39. Um, so I guess the history behind this, um, I got it from my roommate who, well, we won't go into detail with, about how, um, but I bought it from him um, and most of what he had already on it was on it when I purchased it. So a Zenico rail, a Zenico charging handle on here. Um, so mostly everything was built to like the Zenico specification of this gun. Um, it's and been very reliable. Yeah, and it, I haven't had any issues with it. Um, the only things I put on were the EOTech and the magnifier, and then I have a Purse 4 that I took off because I don't want to get that all dirty today. Um, but yeah, I ran it. you for putting that on there because yeah, I have my gun stripped down. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no. So, I mean, I'm going to run out, see how EOTech, which, I mean, they hold their value um, in how durable and reliable they are. So, we're going to do a little EOTech test as well. Um, but, yeah, I ran this at Milson West, too. And with blank I had, fire. Yeah, with blank fire, sorry. <laughs> yeah, not, not, not out there just, you know, call blasting away. Yeah, call your hits, ha. Huh? Um, but I ran it at Milson West and I had no issues whatsoever. Um, I only brought like 750 rounds of blanks with me, so it, it, it burned through them pretty fast. Yeah, and people thought so. you were firing full auto too. Yeah, the ALG, the ALG, ALG trigger. trigger in this thing is is nasty. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's extremely fast firing, so as quick as you can pull the trigger and the reset is just ridiculously ridiculous that wall is like small yeah so it's it shoots extremely fast but yeah that's pretty much it yeah and i have a is, nicer so. trigger in this one as well i have a geisley trigger it's a standard like ssa trigger yeah. in here and uh, i think these are two like fairly comparable rifles like yeah. when it comes to ak versus ar i think the block two versus a bulgarian made ak-74 yeah. is a pretty good test and we're going to kind of be putting them up against each other and see which one does better. I think the AR is still going to beat out the AK. I don't know, man. Um, but I I, know. Hey, I'm an AK guy. I love AKs. But facts are facts. I think that ARs are better at this type of test. But we'll see how this compares to how the PSA did in pretty okay. much the same exact test. So. See how it goes see how it goes. All right guys, so before we begin the actual test, we're just gonna test fire both of these rifles just to make sure that they work. And also, just wanna apologize, not wearing blue jeans today. Um, it is cold, it rained yesterday, so everything's a little mucky and I wanted to flex this fresh Corinthia drip that I got going on here. They're kind of like the cold weather sponsor for this channel. So if you want some badass cold weather gear, as well as cool combat pants, uh, go check out Corinthia. Rich Corinthian leather. All right, so block two, the block tizzle. Ready? Okay, so this one's working. He's cursed handed. Cursed handed. All righty. Us weirdos over here. All righty. She works. 
she works. All right, guys, so just like last time, we're gonna be starting off with the sand test. We have both rifles laying here on the ground with a round in the chamber. We have both of these ammo cans here full of sand. We're gonna dump the sand onto the rifles, pick them up and uh, see which one does better. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right. That is good. Oh, hope I can see out of my geotech. All right, guys, so I guess I'll just start off with the block two. No problem. All right. See how the AK does. Oh, don't fail me. <laughs> don't fail me. All right, one shake. Here we go. Oh, there's that little bump in there. Still good? A little bump in there. Yeah. All right, well, let's do it one more time. <laughs> yeah. Leaving the dust cover open on here. <laughs> All right, let's see how it goes. No problem. All right. A right. little shake. I think I'm out. Are you? Oh. No, I don't think so. Stuck in there. Maybe that one, that one first one I did the shake caused a little bit more of that yeah. shit to come out. Hold on. Where'd that round go? I think the round actually got stuck. Oh, come in here. <laughs> Damn. There. Look where that round ended up. <laughs> Don't know how, but all right, she's uh, there. <laughs> we'll fix this real quick. Hold on. All right, so we got it out of there. Now, oh, just, all right. just, throw the, just throw the magazine in there and uh, see if it starts running again. Give that round. Ugh. Test fire. Good. Just back up. All yep. right, cool. All right, so uh, looks like the AR beat it. You want to try it again? Yeah. One more time, maybe? All right, so one last test here. Back her in. Back her in. All right, so start off with the block two. No problem. Right. No issues. All Bulgarian right. AK-74. All right. No problem? Nope. All right, so failed on the second test, but on the third test, it did better. So one more. Hold yeah. on. Nope. Pull it back. We're good. I got to change back. The reason why we had that malfunction on the AK-74 on that second test is just due to the system. Um, you can see here, you got these openings. So this is supposed to be the dust cover, but as you can see on this safety right here, and even on the normal AK-74 or AK safety, you do have a gap, and this is allowing a lot of sand and debris to get into the system here. And uh, I think that's what happened on that second test. On the third test, it looks like it did okay. And so far actually is doing better than the PSA version did. I will admit yeah. <laughs> than that. We'll say that, that override of the bolt and then sending the round into the uh, trigger uh, mechanism is- <laughs> Pretty catastrophic. You wouldn't want it to have happened. <laughs> yeah. so, no bueno. All right, so I guess we'll do the water test next. So I it. think that the AK might do better than the AR on this one, so we'll see. All right, guys, so in this second test, we're going to be doing the trench water test. We're just going to dip our rifles into this dirty trench water here, bring them out and fire them. I think that the AK is going to do better than the Block 2 in this because the Block 2 is, again, a DI gun, so that gas tube will fill up full of water and it might cause the gun to choke. Uh, I did this test before on another DI type of AR, and it took me a few rounds until that all that water in the gas tube finally burned out. And I was able to cycle again, but we'll see how it does with the block tube. But cold ass water. Yeah. Yeah, I see little air bubbles. Alright, I think that is good. Yeah. Same thing. Dude, 
What's funny about that is that was the same amount of rounds that it took for that gas tube to finally clear as that other AR. So anybody who said that it was because it was like that particular rifle from Blackout Defense, um, the same thing happened on this Daniel Defense block too. She's probably gonna work better now because she's all washed off. All right. No issues. So that just shows the strength of a piston driven gun. So the AK has a long stroke gas piston and because it has that piston, you don't have anything filling full of water, um, which is getting in the way of the rifle functioning. So AK beats out the AR in the uh, water test. So let's see how that does in the mud test. All right guys, so we just did the sand test and then we did the water test. Now we're gonna do the mud test. And I think this is where we're truly gonna see a difference um, between the two guns. Even now the AR did beat the AK in the sand test. The AK did come out on top when it came to the water. So we'll see how it does in the mud and we'll see one. how this compares to the PSA gun, and how it did last time, which actually ended up running through that okay. But we'll see how the uh, Bulgarian made one does. Ugh. That should be fine. Got some leaves on there. Yeah, you got your foliage. Yeah. All right, that's what she needs. That's good right there. All right, go ahead and get some mud for your AK. All right, <laughs> go. Ooh, yeah. that's a good one. I got more foliage. <laughs> yeah. Some haters are gonna say, that's more clay, yeah. that's more that's, mud. That's not, that's not real Ukrainian trench that's mud. Not, that's not real Ukrainian trench mud. <laughs> All right, guys, so we'll start off with the block two. No problem. All right. I gotta get to my safety. Oh, God. There we go. All right. Oh. Bazinga. She doesn't like it. Nope. Definitely does not like that. Well, the AK is down. Um, pretty much the exact same thing happened uh, when I did the mud test on that PSA gun. But I do want to do one more test on this block too. Last time I did this test, I had the uh, dust cover open and the block two ended up choking. So I have the dust cover open right now. I'm gonna put one more gloop of mud right on there and see how it runs. And hopefully you know, it does better than it did last time. Cause I absolutely love this rifle. It has a sentimental value to me just due to um, it being kind of like the same type of rifle I used when I was in the military. And uh, I wanted to do good. So let's see how it does. <laughs> All right, so right on the bolt. All right. Nope. Now, 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 now. What is that? Oh, I think I just ran out of ammo. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try to put one more mag in. Let's see how she does. No. Oh, it's not. Yeah, you're right. All right, she done zoed. You got a stuff casing in there. Not <clears throat> on the BCG. All right. All right, so that did it in. So as long as you have that dust cover closed, uh, your AR should work perfectly fine. 
but as soon as I got mud on that bolt, uh, bolt carrier right there, it started having issues. All right, so we finished up all the tests comparing the Block 2 with the Bulgarian AK-74. And pretty much the same exact findings that we had last time, even though I will say that this gun did do a little bit better in the sand test than the PSA did. I'm not sure if that's just due to more sand being had on the PSA or whatever, but uh, very similar findings. And then again, um, I think it has to do just with the general design of the AK. It does do better in certain circumstances, like we saw in the water, um, where this choked up just like the last time I tested a DI AR in that trench water, had the exact same problem, where it took the exact same amount of rounds for that uh, water to evaporate in the gas tube. But what do you think? Yeah, I think without any obstructions, uh, like sand or mud, completely in the receiver, it performs pretty well. Um, like, yeah, with the water test, it, obviously I thought it was gonna do pretty decently and well in that. Um, but I mean, overall, the only issue I had was with that bolt override and then the round literally getting caught in the like trigger or trigger mechanism. Sorry. That's, that um, happened on the sand test. Yeah, that happened with the sand test. Um, and then it was happening just with the mud test. I mean, yeah. we, just found, having, we found it happen again yeah. after we uh, cleared the malfunction after that mud. Yeah, it was actually <laughs> sitting right in the trick, like right at the bottom so that it could still clear the bolt, which is Did it fire? wild. I, it legitimately, I think, <laughs> fired once because I thought I saw it fall out whenever we were over there. Yeah. And I think it fired once, but still caused it to like yeah. malfunction um, due to the mud. But I, I'm pretty sure that the, the round that was like stuck at the bottom mm -hmm. that I thought fell out, it, it kept it kept operating so it was one strange. thing about the ak is since it has like those looser tolerances it does allow for more shit uh you know like when it comes to like lack of maintenance um i would say that the ak when it comes to like a more conscript force um when it comes to like maintenance on the rifles that these will fire longer than an a di ar if you're not maintaining it properly just like through natural use right i'm not talking about like sand and mud getting in there but the ak does excel in that and where it will still fire a round yeah even if there's a round stuck in the trigger that, that was the, what i found as being strange and like okay well i knew that the mud was causing it but what is causing it now and then seeing that when i look into the receiver after i originally i thought that it fell out it was hidden in that trigger mechanism that i just opened yeah. up the three tray and it's how it falls out. Yeah. So. Just AK magic. <laughs> yeah. AK magic, I guess. Well, guys, I hope you thought this video was interesting and maybe you learned something a little bit. I, I kind of knew what was going to happen before we even filmed this. I knew that the AR was going to beat the AK, even if it was a Gucci AK like you see here. Um, the AR system in general is just going to do better in these type of conditions. But it was interesting to see how this Bulgarian one did compared to the PSA gun. And honestly, I do think it did a little bit better because I think that this gun might be a little bit more combat gas than that PSA gun. So maybe that allowed it to perform a little bit better in that sand test. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider dropping a like and subscribing. You can also follow me on Instagram at Blue Gene Operator or go to my website, thebluegeneoperator.com to find some cool shirts and merch, which helps out the channel. Also, where can they find you, Talon? So you guys can follow me on my Instagram, uh, Mortier. Two nine. I haven't really started my YouTube very much, um, but I will give a shout out to my range, Recondo Operations Group, if you're in the uh, Fayetteville area, um, North Carolina. It's a pretty good range, a lot of good instructors out there, um, and it's a fun time every time. So um, look into recondooperationsgroup.com if you want to come to a good outdoor range with a long maneuver and a uh, 100 meter flat range. So oh, yeah. check it out, check it out. Come down there, show you guys. Check us out. Man. Right. It's fun. Also, guys, if you want to get involved with the channel a little bit more directly, I got Patreon, helps me buy guns, gear, all the type of stuff that goes in running a gun channel, and probably some cleaning supplies to uh, clean these rifles after we do these tests. But hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time.